basically evidence is coming up that you need to more completely block the He receptor layer uh, in order to have the best response to He targeted therapies. So the data that we presented in ASCO last year showed that if you added trastuzumab, which is standard of care, if you added lapatinib on top of trastuzumab, you basically, in patients with, without receiving chemotherapy, there was a very high pathologic complete response rate. So what we were trying to show was, is, there, is it possible that we can get to a point that we can actually just target specifically the mutations of the genes that drive the cancer in a woman and spare the woman the toxic side effects of systemic chemotherapy, which is hair loss, nausea, vomiting, etc. And we found that in this study where we did a combination of lepatinib, trastuzumab, and if the woman was estrogen receptor positive as well, she also received um, estrogen deprivation, which is, uh, in this case, um, uh, Femara or letrozole, uh, with, um, and if she was premenopausal, glycerol and LHR agonist. So we did estrogen deprivation to basically block the estrogen receptor pathway and more completely block the HER pathway. And we found that we had a very, very high pathologic complete response rate. So if in, across the board, about 30%. So one in three women may not need chemotherapy. And if a tumor was not only HER2 positive, but an ER negative, that PCR rate went up as high as 40%. So made close to half the women, if you're ER negative, HER2 positive uh, breast cancer, may not need chemotherapy.